Hey, what's going on guys? So last time we were here, we were exploring the client's database, task database, project database, and we connected them together. Um, we also created an SOP that's database, which we haven't done anything with yet, but uh, we'll be getting to that. So next we have the dashboard, which I created uh, right now. And uh, I've done some changes so that, because honestly, I was recording the whole video and it was taking so long. The video took an hour and a half. And I said, okay, probably no one's gonna wanna watch that. So what I did is I just, kept it created like like I did, and I'll show you now what it looks like. And I'll show you the settings so that way you can go ahead and pause and check it out and build it for yourself. Or you can just copy the template, which is uh, it's available on in the description below. And also it's not finished. So the further we advance with this series, the more it's gonna be uh, explored and the more it's gonna be uh, in depth, which is supposed to be a, a Notion workspace for digital marketers uh, and SEO as well. well same thing, almost. <laughs> All right, so here what we have is a, a view of the task database. So I've created a page called dashboard. I added the logo here. This is the main dashboard. So we have a couple of views from the task database. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and hide these. So we don't need to see that. So that way it's cleaner. So you have the meetings here. So anything you create, this is all the task database. So all of these, you can create it right here. For example, new meeting. and. Now, let's say it's a McDonald's task. So if I click McDonald's, check what happens here. The things are gonna, the properties are gonna get filled up uh, on their own. So click here. So automatically the projects, the project board is added. Project as well is added, which is related to the projects database. The client as well is added. Well, it's not added technically because it's a roll up. So anytime you add, if I change this right now to, well, let's say Elgato, it'll change the client to Elgato's client. You see, it changed it. So I'm just gonna undo that. All right, now the pinned, this pin checkbox, this means that it's gonna be active in these different views. So the today view, for example, is a view where you see only today uh, tasks or what's not done from yesterday or before. So anytime something is a date that's previous to today, it'll be here. Um, now, I wanted to show you the meeting though, and I didn't, so let me go back to, to where I was. So here, as you can see, um, the new meeting, it's a to-do. So automatically, it'll get the to-do status when you create it um, with the template. But let's say this is a meeting, well it is, so we'll change it to meeting. When you change it to meeting, it'll be here in the meetings. So here, this is all your meetings. If you, as, as soon as something has the status of meeting, it'll be here. I'll even add, something here which i forgot which is the status and also the time that way we can know how much time it lasts and uh just see a little calendar icon that way you always know these are our meetings now when you're done with the meeting what i do is i change the status to meeting notes because a lot of times when you have your your meeting like before i was creating meeting notes and i was creating a meeting and then when i share something with uh, someone like for example a client or someone i end up having too many pages so what i did is that here, for example, in the new meeting, let's say I have my meeting right now, I can share this with whoever I'm meeting with. And then I would go here and I would uh, write my meeting notes. So meeting notes, and then we have the bullet points, for example, point A, point B. And then when I'm done with that, I'll switch it to meeting notes. Now, it'll disappear from here because it's not a meeting anymore. Now it's considered a meeting note. I only do that with the ones that I want them to be meeting notes or meetings. If, they're, if, they're, if it's going to stay meeting, then I'm, if like, for example, there's no notes, then I'll just mark it as complete and it'll go to the complete section here. But if I don't want that and I want it to keep it because I want my meeting notes somewhere specific, then they're here. This is another view of the same database, which we'll hide again. And as you can see, the meeting notes are here. So we have even a little preview of what's on the page. Everything with the meeting notes uh, property will stay here. Now you can make them also a bit smaller, which is what I usually do. I guess I forgot to do it. Go here and just change the uh, small. There we go. Now it's a bit small, but if you want to make it big, it's just like more. And as long as there's no meeting for a specific project, it won't show. But let's say there's a new meeting for Adidas, then it'll show here. So this is, this is set to, to not show things that are empty. So there's no point, you know. That's pretty much it for this view. Now, uh, just to explain what the task here is. So let's say I add a new task here. Since this database is filtered for today or before, and also to have pinned, everything here is pinned, then at this point, 
If we want to add a new task and you want to add it with the template, which all of these templates are created here. So and if anytime you have a new client, you just click new template, you write the name of the new client and write like Elgato task or just the name. You add their logo in the, in the icon. And then as soon as you've, you've done that, you also have to add the uh, project board. And then when you're done with that, every time you have a new task for this specific project, then you just click here. So let's do a new Nike, for example, Nike task. So here everything fills up correctly, good. And also the date is here since we're in the today view. Now you have also the SOPs, which is uh, when a task is related to a specific SOP that you've assigned to someone, that way they can easily reference it. And also the importance. So if something is important, for example, five, then uh, obviously it should be set for that, but it looks like I didn't do it. So I'm just gonna set it to sort for importance. There we go. Now, another thing I wanna show you here is that this view right here is, uh, is grouped by status. So we have the status of backlog and the status of needs review. And then we also have this, this one, but usually I don't show this one, so I'll just hide it. And that way, everything that's here is based on your tasks right now. So let's say right now I have this new task and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm done with it, but I need to review it after. You don't want to leave it here because it's like bothering you. You don't want to have your, your task list filled up. You just put it down here and the status will automatically change to needs review. And let's say, for example, you don't want this to be pinned because at some point you might have a bunch of tasks here. Like if you're running, for example, an agency and you have a lot of people running different tasks and this might be like a 10 or 15 here, 10, 15 here, 20. So like you don't want to have all this cluttered up. So whatever tasks you don't want here, simply remove this checkbox, the pin, and it'll be out of your way, but you can find it. You can always find your tasks here. So as you can see, we have all the ones that are, are added. So this is the task I removed, but let's say I check the thing again, the checkbox then you'll see it right here. Okay, now if I wanna, actually I should probably remove the hidden groups. So I'll do that right now. So we're gonna remove the groups and we're also, actually we're going to group this by project boards. There we go. Just so that way you can have colors because when you don't have any colors, it's hard to find things. Good, so here, as you can see, I haven't added the, the project board because I just did that lately. So if I add this, We'll add the, the, the right templates for each of them because by doing that, it'll add the project board. You see, this wasn't added. Or I can just simply add it from here, but I'm mean, just showing you so you understand the principle of the template. All right? Because as long as they don't have a status a project board, then they'll be here in the no project board, which we don't want. But from this point on, as soon as you click one of these templates, everything will be filled up and you'll never have anything that doesn't have a status. So you won't, you won't have to worry about that. Okay, now here they are, all the different tasks. I do make this smaller as well. That way it doesn't have take too much space. Now all the tasks that you have, this is like a master backlog. So here you have your backlog for the day. So that way here maybe you have only your three most important tasks or five or, or four, depending on how much time they take. And then you have also the time, which should be somewhere here, but looks like it's not. Let's add it. So the time. <clears throat> want it to be right here. Now this is gonna show us how much time it's supposed to take. You calculate the sum. All right, so here it tells you, for example, today's tasks are six hours and 25 minutes. Then you have something here that takes 10 hours. Obviously we're not gonna do that today. So we might wanna add other tasks in this backlog. Um, so we'll remove this. Now it's gonna be here, as you can see, in the 10 hour task, optimize website pages. And now let's take something that is take a little bit less time. So this one, so what we'll do here is we'll check box this one and we'll check this one. So we're pinning them, but uh, you see the date here, for example, is May 6th. So this one is gonna show up there, but the other one, track analytics, it won't be because it's not set for today. It's set for the 22nd. So if you wanna see that, you go to all pinned. Now you'll see it. These are all your pinned tasks. So this one we just added, it's here. And so basically we'll change the date maybe because we're going to do it today so if we're going to do it today we're going to change the date actually with this one yeah so we'll change the date to let's say today and now we should see it in the other one there we go and let's just put it in the backlog because we're not sure we're going to do it we want to have our focus clear 
like this task, for example, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> All right. Well, that's pretty much it for this. I'll show you the um, different types of uh, filters we have here. So for the meeting notes, the filter is set to only show status is meeting, which is this little uh, calendar icon. And then meeting notes, we have the only filter we have on this one is Honda uh, notes, meeting notes. All right, next we're gonna go to the today view. Now the today view has uh, sorting of importance. I do put some more sortings usually, but I don't wanna put too many things so that way you'll figure out how you, you like to set it up. Then the rules are due date is on or before today and pin is checked. Next we have the tomorrow view, which here is pin is checked status is not complete and due date is tomorrow. We don't have any tasks for tomorrow, so nothing here. Um, but if you would create a task right here, it'll add the date automatically to tomorrow. All right, now here we have the calendar view. So here you can see the calendar and uh, different uh, properties. Now the filter is, is checked and the status also is not complete. That's it, now we have all pinned. All pinned has rules like this. So pinned is checked and status is not complete. And it has a sorting of importance and then ascending by project. Next, we have the complete view. Complete view is set to status is complete and the due date for the sorting. So sorting is set by due date descending. All right, and then last but not least, uh, actually there's two of them here. So for the project board pick list, we have um, status is not complete, status is not complete, pinned is unchecked, and sorting of hold ascending and importance ascending. That means if something is set to hold, it'll stay at the bottom. So if I click hold on one of them, it'll go to completely to the bottom. Hold is for tasks that you're waiting on someone to answer you back or to give, give you some information or you're waiting on someone. Then we have finally the recent complete. So this is for like when you have a lot of tasks that are completed, but you don't want to show all of them. You just want to show the ones that are recently completed. So this is filtered for um, due date is on or after one month ago. So this is only the tasks that are done this month. And then you have status is complete. That's pretty much it. This right here is a um, just a little menu that I put in my pages. Um, uh, basically, it shows my available hours, my video meeting link, schedule link, audio call, all that stuff. It, it basically brings you to my website. So if I click here, it'll bring that little widget up right here. And that widget lets them add a specific uh, time schedule with me based on the hours that I've selected. And then at that point, they can choose maybe a second one also like, okay, let's try. If you're not available on that time, we'll go on this one. So if you guys like this video, please don't hesitate in liking, leaving a comment, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I really would like to know what you guys think of uh, Notion videos and what, what type of workspaces you guys want to build and just stuff like that. For the meantime, I'm creating one for specifically digital marketing and SEO. Uh, but in the long run, I'd like to have your feedback to know what uh, I could add to it or and stuff like that. Obviously it's not finished this one, there's a long way to go, but um, I'm trying to show it little by little because I have other videos that are coming out as well. All right guys, take care, see you soon.